Om Shanti. Today's program will be quite unlike others. It will be entertaining, informative, and experiential. You will take away tools to improve your daily lives. So I suggest that you quiet your minds, put aside your thoughts, and prepare to immerse yourselves in a powerful meditative state. Brahma Kumari's World Spiritual Organization, or BKS for short, was established in 1935 in India. It has been serving humanity through more than 8,000 centers across 110 countries. It holds consultative status in the United Nations. The organization is unique, primarily managed by dedicated sisters who serve communities local to the 8,000 centers. These centers are like gyms for minds and souls. We practice Raj Yoga meditation to raise our level of consciousness and lead an enlightened life. The Silicon Valley chapter was established 23 years ago in Milpitas. We have planned a program that is both cultural and spiritual. We will start the evening with a melody, followed by a short skit, which will um, then be followed by recognizing our dignitaries for the evening. And then we'll, of course, have the main feature event, Sister Shivani's talk. She will conduct guided meditation, and at the end, as you exit, you will be served prasad and blessings. So to kick off the evening, we have Raghu Bhai. Brother Raghu, please come up. He has just graduated from Penn State University and is a young budding industrial engineer at Western Digital. Please welcome Raghu Bhai. Om Shanti. I'd like to present a song that uh, resonates with the teachings here at Brahma Kumaris which uh, emphasizes the deeper connection between karma and life. Hope you enjoy it. एक दिन बिक जाएगा माटी के मोर जग में रह जाएंगे प्यारे तेरे बोर एक दिन बिक जाएगा माटी के मोर जग में रह जाएंगे प्यारे तेरे बोर दूजे के होठों को देकर अपने की कोई निशानी चोर फिर दुनिया से डो एक दिन बिक जाएगा माटी के हाँ जग में रह जाएंगे यार तेरे को ला 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 अनहोनी पत में कांटे लाख बिचाए होनी तो फिर भी लाखों सफल मिलाए अनहोनी पत में कांटे लाख बिछाए होनी तो फिर भी लाखों सफल मिलाए ये मुश्किल ये दूरी दो पल की मजबूरी फिर कोई दिल वाला का है को घबराए तरम पम दारा जो बहती है मिल के रहती है बैठी दारा पंजा फिर दुनिया से डोल एक दिन बिक जाएगा माटी के मोल जग में रह जाएंगे प्यारे तेरे बोल ला 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 Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you, brother. 
Who here thinks that Brother Raghu has a career in singing? <laughs> Thank you. In the hustle bustle of daily lives, we often forget a true purpose of life. This next skit shows why we should take some time out for ourselves to seek it. Enjoy. This is Shekhar's family. Shekhar is an overachiever, a successful entrepreneur and executive in the Silicon Valley. Shanti is his wife. She's a woman in technology. She has opposite nature to Shekhar. She's very calm and very loving. They have a 14-year-old son, Abhi. They're all getting ready to start the day. Now, this is like the typical family in the Bay Area. By the way, Shekhar has an important meeting in the office, and Abhi needs to go to school. Let's see what happens in the morning in the Bay Area. Shekhar! Shekhar, come for breakfast. Shekhar! Hey, listen, I don't have time for breakfast. I have an urgent meeting to go to, so bye. Can you at least just drop him to school today? I have a really important meeting this morning. Today? Yes, today. You did the same to me yesterday. Why do, the, why do I have to put up with all this? Okay. Okay, never mind. I have an important meeting to go to. Never I mind. cannot. It's okay. Never mind. Sit down. At least have something to eat before you go. Sit. Abhi, look what you've done. You've dropped water all over my suit. I have an important meeting to go to. I don't even have time to change now. Idiot. <laughs> OK, let's get to school. Come on. Daddy left his laptop here. Oh, no. Serves him right for yelling. <laughs> <laughs> you, must not, you must not be like that. You never think bad for anybody. Let me at least try calling him. He's not picking. Let's go. So that's how the day starts, you know, with the fight. Actually, the hero was supposed to eat the toast, but he forgot that. <laughs> so now the scene changes to the office, and uh, this is a conference room. And uh, his colleague Shekhar is already sitting, uh, Anand is sitting there. So let's see what happens in the office. Hey, morning, Anand. Hey, hi, Shekhar. How are you? Hey, doing good. Hey, sorry, man, I'm late. You know this traffic on 680? It's just killing me. Doesn't matter when you start, you're always late. Oh, no. I forgot my laptop. What do we do now, Anand? It's OK. Don't worry. I have a copy of the presentation. But I worked until 2 AM last night. How do we redo all that? We don't have enough time. Anand, don't panic. Let's do best with what we have. Let me start editing the presentation. Let's have a look at it together. What do you think about this, Anand? Anand, are you OK? Anand? I don't know, man. Shall I grab some water for you? Oh, no. Let me call the doctor. Hello? Hello? Can I speak to Dr. Patel? Dr. Patel, uh, can you please come to the room 101? Uh, we have an emergency here. I'll be there. Thank you. Dr. Patel? 
Thank you for coming, doctor. What happened? My friend started having chest pain and he's perspiring heavily. Please have a look at him. Under your tongue and make sure you don't swallow it. How is the doctor? Well, he had a mild heart attack. Is it? Yes. I have given him nitroglycerin for now. Okay. I want you to take him to the hospital right away. Sure, doctor. Let me call the ambulance. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for being here. Hello, ambulance. We have an emergency. Can you come over? Thank you. Anna. Shaker, you please relax. Let me move the meeting to some other day. But Anand, we've worked for this so hard. Billion dollar deals don't come every day. Shaker, you know what? We have few more important things to deal with today. Let me move the meeting to some other day. I need to take you to the doctor. I've called the ambulance and they're on the way. Let's go. Let's go. Guess what? Not only he missed the meeting, but he had to spend two weeks in the hospital. Shekhar is uh, coming back to work. And let's see what happens on his first day at work. Hey, Anand. Hey, hi, Shekhar. Glad to see you back. Hey, man. Same here. Welcome back. Yeah, glad to be back. So how are things? Things are going good. How are things on your side? Well, you know, the last couple of weeks, I've been doing a lot of serious thinking while I was in the hospital. Thinking about what, Shekhar? As to what really is the purpose of life? Is it all, all the things that I've been chasing all after my life, or is it something else? You know what, Shekhar? These are very important things which people have to think at least once. And with what just happened to me, I would have lost everything, all the possessions, and even my family. I don't know if it's worth all of this. Shekhar, I have seen you from childhood. You are very driven by your, your work. But one thing which I have noticed, your nerves spent time with yourself or with your family. Really? Yes. I feel spending time with yourself not just nourishes yourself, but it also brings stability at the home. Even the kids start getting influenced by our thoughts. So it's very important to spend time with yourself. You know what? Sister Shivani is in Bay Area today and she's giving a talk <laughs> on purpose of life very relevant to the questions you have been asking. And I feel it will be the best investment of your life the next 90 minutes. Wow, Sister Shivani? Yes. I've heard about her. I would love to go, my friend. Yes, let's go together. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. As you have seen, unless you give quality time to yourself and take care of yourself, you cannot take care of others. And you cannot make them happy as well. Of course, we are going to have here from Sister Shivani. So let me introduce you with all the actors. So actually, we are not really actors. We are just acting like actors. We are really people just like you. But we are Brahma Kumari, Mil Peters, uh, Brahma Kumari um, Bay Area, uh, Silicon Valley Center. And, uh, We'll continue to give you entertain quality entertainment like this in future. I hope you enjoy this kit. It had a big message. Thank you. The Brahma Kumari organization conducts courses, events, classes, programs like the one today. All the courses are free. 
All the programs are free. All events you saw in the preceding videos are free. Just like this one. BK families, like the ones you saw on the stage, provide all the resources, financial and otherwise, to manage and support the local BK centers. No active donations are sought. Outside, you will also find BK books and CDs. I invite you to browse them, including Sister Shivani's recent best-selling book, Happiness Unlimited. You can also follow Sister Shivani on her YouTube channel. You can follow the activities of the Silicon Valley BK Center on its website, svbrahmakumaris.org. The center conducts courses for children and adults in multiple locations for your convenience, for example, in Milpitas, Pleasanton, and Santa Cruz. Please be sure to look at the brochures on your seats for the upcoming courses and locations. And I will request um, Sister Kusum and Sister Shivani to please come on the stage. I invite Sister Kusum, director of the Silicon Valley BK Center, to introduce today's topic. And of course, Sister Shivani. Sister Kusum, a Raj Yogini since childhood, she has dedicated her life to serve humanity, starting at the Gamdevi BK Center in Mumbai, before moving to establish a center in the Silicon Valley 23 years ago. She is very special to me. She is what I call a spiritual sculptor, working on one individual at a time with love and affection, helping him or her become a better person to lead a purposeful life. I have the distinction, if it can be one, of being the first local member of the BK family. Ever since she has been my life coach, long before life coaches came in fashion, as I pursue my professional career as a computer science researcher in Microsoft Research, advanced education, and as I seek the purpose of my own life. From her, I've learned the art of living a fulfilling and joyous life through daily spiritual practices. And I have no hesitation in saying that the other 300 members of the family share this sentiment. Please welcome Sister Kusum. Thank you, Gagan Bhai. Thank you. Om Shanti. Today's topic is purpose of life. What is life? I have heard Dekho to khwab hai jindagi Dekho to khwab hai jindagi Padho to kitab hai jindagi Suno to gyan hai jindagi Lekin hum kehte hain Khush raho, muskurate raho To abad hai jindagi Abad hai jindagi Asan hai jindagi. Asan hai jindagi. If you want to watch the life, life is like a dream. Each day, every moment, scene comes, goes, comes, goes. It's like a dream. When you read what is life, it's like a book, page after page. If you want to listen, to what is life, then it is knowledge. Each person, I can learn so much. So life is like a knowledge. But I say, if you keep smiling, you are happy, life is easy. Life is pleasant, life is charming. Keep smiling. Constantly happy. 
and happiness should emerge from inside out it should bloom from inside out i know speaking lips can solve some problem close lips chup sada sukh suna hai so closed lips can solve many problems but a smiling lips can solve all the problems keep a smiling be happy constantly when i am happy inside and is emerging out is like a fragrance then around me others also get that fragrance they also become happy so life suppose i am unhappy so life laughs at me when i am unhappy life it smiles me when i am happy but life salutes me when i make others happy so the purpose of life is the purpose of life is be happy make others happy three angels from above they were watching here and they thought that human beings are not any more worthy to have a peace and happiness in their life so they had a meeting where should we hide peace and happiness one angel said that we should hide peace and happiness top of the mountain others too argued no human being will get there so second one said we should hide inside the ocean human being will get there so third one very smart very brilliant very bright said we should hide where no one can go inside in them <laughs> all agreed so now we know the secret where is love and happiness where love and happiness inside of us so the purpose of life is to bring out from in how to bring out from in today sister shivani very brilliant star of god's galaxy is here we will listen to her om shanti om shanti thank you sister it is my singular honor to introduce sister shivani to you and you to her how does one introduce someone as renowned as sister shivani a gold medalist engineer by education a raj yogini by practice designated the woman of the decade by the chamber of commerce and industry appointed goodwill ambassador by the world psychiatry association millions have benefited from her programs and millions millions more follow her she has come to the usa for the first time to be with us how fortunate are we how fortunate are we
traveling over 10,000 miles from the land of dharma. Dharma not as in religion, but dharma as in code of conduct necessary to fulfill one's purpose in life. The land that has sent forth spiritual leaders millennia after millennia to teach dharma. Sister Shivani is the spiritual leader of this transformative modern age. Through deep contemplation and meditation, she distills sharp spiritual insights and shares them using context that is contemporary, in a language that is relatable, and in a voice that is soft and touching. How many of you agree with that? I request Sister Shruti to welcome Sister Shivani with flowers. Friends, please join me in welcoming Sister Shivani. Friends, I take leave from you. After Sister Shivani shares her insights, she will conduct guided meditation. She wants you to remain in that meditative state for as long as possible. Hence, at the end of the meditation, she will guide you out of the hall, row by row. Please follow her instructions. Please follow the ushers. And as you exit, be sure to take blessings and prasad made of almonds, specially prepared by the Silicon Valley BK family members for this occasion. Om Shanti, enjoy, and I'm Gagan Gupta. Thank you. Let's sit back, minute of silence. We switch off the screens. <coughs> we switch off screens, we switch off phones, and then we silence our mind. Give it a very clear instruction. The next 90 minutes is for me, myself. Any other thought on the mind, anything about what has to be done tomorrow, anything that you have left behind, give it a time. Give it a very specific instruction. We'll think about it after 90 minutes and your mind will listen to you. Five minutes of a drama leaves us asking questions to ourselves. Do I need to wait for a situation which takes me to contemplate what is the purpose of my life? Or can I ask myself that question today? We've read about it, we've heard about it. But let's ask ourselves, what is the purpose of my life? Not purpose of our life, purpose of my life. Kya hai mere jeene ka purpose? Mere jeevan ka uddesh kya hai? Don't think of the answer. Just leave the mind with the question.
reflect on all the years that have passed. And ask yourself, do I want the future to be the same? Or can I give myself a higher purpose than what I am living today? Shanti. Taking care of my family, playing my roles and responsibilities, taking care of my job, can there be anything more? Is there anything more that I have to do? What is the meaning of this line, purpose of life? Because we listen to it so many times, purpose of life. And many times we ask ourselves to go and ask ourselves, what is the purpose of my life? Everything is doing everything. All the responsibilities are doing everything. Roles and responsibilities are doing everything very well. So what is the meaning of this line, purpose of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Questioning me, asking myself, what is the purpose of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line coming in the middle of my life? Why is this line to spread happiness, what else? Anji? To spread love, this side, purpose of life? To make others happy. To make others happy. Duayin lena or duayin dena? Acha. Hanji sister, piche. Hanji? To find God. Acha. Ha, itna kyo sochna hai bolti hai? See? So true. Itna kyu sochna hai, what is the purpose of life? Just enjoy it. Chote bachche kehte hain, badi badi baate kyu kar rho? Haan, itna bada 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 kyu soch rho? Just life ko enjoy karo. Kyunki agar nahi karo ge, to saari jo badi badi baate kar rho, wo kar nahi pao ge. That is it. We won't achieve all those big words that we have been used to reading, listening, talking, sharing, every morning quote, forwarding to other people. <laughs> you know? Silicon Valley has connected all of us. And every morning, we read that beautiful message and we say, Ye kitna hai, isko main to sab ko bech do. And which is a very pure intention, to share what you have got with everybody. You know? But the only thing that we do is, we read it, or we watch it, or listen to it. Achha lagta hai, sab ko bhej dete hai. Unko bahut achha lagta hai, wo auron ko bhej dete hai. Unko to bahut bahut achha lagta hai, to wo to bahuton ko bhej dete hai. And within 30 minutes, it's reached everywhere. And yet we are not happy. Because we are reading the message, we are liking it, we are sharing it. What is only left? We are using it or not. So someone sends us a message today. Abhi jo didi ne sunaya, ek ek line jab suna re the, jeevan kya hai? And everybody was like, ha ha, and everybody was like, अभी बाहर जाएंगे? जीवन ज्ञान है, जीवन खुशी है, जीवन आनंद है, and one car will come there पीछे से एंड ठोकेगी और सारा ज्ञान, आनंद, सब everything disappear. होता है कि नहीं होता ऐसा? So purpose of life means everything that I know and everything who I am. Everything who I am. 
I use it in every scene of my life. Who am I? Abhi unhone sunaya, aapne itne achhi tali bajai. Where did those three angels hide the peace and love? Where did the three angels hide the peace and love? Inside me. And aapne tali bajai. Do you agree with it? Ya sirf sunne mein achha laga. Oh, it's inside me. Aapne tali bajai. But do you agree with it? Do you agree with it? Peace is inside you. And love is also inside you. Achha. And happiness is also inside you. <laughs> and that means I don't need to find peace and I don't need to ask people to love me and I definitely don't need to buy happiness because it's all inside me. Which we liked the line but now purpose of life will become to use that line every time. Because when I forgot who I am, I started looking for those things outside. And then when we started looking for those things outside, we reached a stage where we could achieve everything that we wanted outside. And after achieving everything which we can achieve outside, there was something that we were still asking for. And what was that something remaining? We got everything that we wanted. Gagan brother just said, you are talking to an audience who is? The most educated, most intelligent, and the brightest innovators on the planet. <laughs> Which means we've achieved all that we could outside and we'll keep achieving more. And yet, in spite of having achieved all this, there seems to be a lack of contentment inside. Hota hai sa kabhi kabhi? Hota hai sa kabhi kabhi? Having achieved everything outside, but not being able to keep your mind where it should be, not be able to say the right word in every scene, not be able to perform the perfect action in every situation. I've achieved everything outside. I've mastered the outside world. But my inner world doesn't seem to be working according to the way I want it to be. How many of you can keep your mind only on what you want to think about and hold it there only for how long you want it to be on that topic. Jo sochna hai, jitni der sochna hai, aur jaisa sochna hai, waise hi man chalega. Anji? Man bhaagta rehta na? So this is what we need to sit and contemplate that I, who's achieved so much outside, why is it that I just can't have my own mind going according to the way I want it to be? Itna kya mushkil hai isme? How come I can have the world go according to what I want it to be, but I can't have my mind go according to the way I want it to be? What's the reason? Kya reason hoga? क्या रीज़न होगा? आपने कभी सोचा कि आप सोचना चाहते हैं कुछ और लेकिन मन जाता है कहीं और होता है? होता है? कभी हुआ कि कुछ कह दिया और फिर बोलना पड़ता है I'm sorry मेरा कहने का भाव नहीं था मेरे मुंह से निकल गया आपके किस किस के मुंह से कुछ कुछ अपने आप निकल जाता है कभी कभी anybody मुंह से अपने आप निकल जाता है कभी कभी कुछ कुछ yes Yes? And sometimes something goes out of your hand. Is it like that or sometimes? And which means, not just that my mind is not the way I want it to be, sometimes my words are not the way I want them to be, and sometimes even my actions are not the way I want it to be, and which means my whole inner system, my whole inner system, mind, thoughts, words, actions, 
is not always under my control. And when they are not under my control, I start believing that they are being controlled by, they are being controlled by outer situations. Now, question to the most intelligent minds on the planet. <laughs> yes, because it's from here that the answer has to go to the rest of the world. What is the reason? What is the reason that I do not have control over my own system, but I have control over the outer systems of the world? Kya reason ho sakta hai? What could be the reason? Ye to apna man hai na? Apna man hai. Today from here, you have mastered the art of controlling minds of the world. Ab jab logon ko khush karna chaho, khush kar sakte ho. Jab chaho to wo aise ho jate hai. It's being controlled a lot from here. Apne man ka kyo nahi ho raha hai? What could be the reason? What simple a reason? Hanji? Acha? Hanji? Very good. Intelligent answers are always the simplest answers. <laughs> nothing profound, nothing complex. It's just something we never tried. And if we try, and if we try, we are going to be able to do it very easily. Lekin, jis jagha dhyan gaya hi nahi. Jis jagha dhyan gaya hi nahi. It's an area of my life where I never paid attention to. Because where was I paying all the attention to? Outside world. And which is very important, the outside world. But why was I paying more attention to the outside world and not looking at the inner world? Because I believed that it's the outside world which will give everything to my inner world. I will be happy when? Fill in the blanks. When I have a house. When I have a house. Very important. Ghar ke bina kaise koi khush ho sakta hai? How can I be happy if I don't have a house? So I'll be happy when I have a house. Two, I'll be happy when? Others behave the way I want. I will be happy when? Perfect. I will be happy when everything will be right outside. And which my happiness comes from? It started from, you know when? When we were this age. And our parents' smile and happiness used to be proportionate to our marks. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. yes. And that's the day, as a child, we programmed ourselves, the better I perform, the happier people around me are. Yes or no? And wo body body ho gayi hai, wo bachcha abhi tak same hai andar. And we're still living the same life. The better I perform, the more I achieve, the more I get, the more I acquire, I will be happy. Kab sikha tha? And then you know what happened? When uncles and aunties came to our house, our parents said, Bacha, poem sunao. <laughs> kara tha ki nahi kara tha? Hai na? Bacha, poem sunao. Dance karke dikhao. Acting karke. And when we performed, people appreciated us. Second programming. People appreciate me when I perform. That was enough. And we are still performing. We are still performing and performing and performing, believing that the more I perform and the better I perform, I will get happiness and I will get people's, people's appreciation, affection, and most important, I am good when people appreciate me because that day when I performed, Everyone around me said, good girl, good boy. And which means my self-esteem, what I feel about myself, whether I'm right or not, is dependent on what people believe about me. And people's belief about me became dependent on how successful I was on the ladder. Everything got so complicated. Today, we are 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. And we still feel that when people say, I am right, and when people say, I am nice, 
And when people say, you are a wonderful person, then I'm a nice person. How many of you feel we need public approval? <laughs> public approval for. Sister, orange dress. You walk into this hall wearing this beautiful orange dress. You bought it this morning, especially for this event. <laughs> I'm assuming. Catching power, achhe meri. She said, I just took off the tag and wore it today, first time. <laughs> now, she walks into this gathering, this party, she meets her friends, and she's waiting. Hota hai hota? Yes? No one's saying anything. She's still waiting. <laughs> Ten minutes have passed, nobody has still said anything. So she says it to them, very pretty dress. Kahin dress ka topic to shuru ho. So she'll say it to the other person, very pretty dress. Then the other person will say, ha ha, your dress is also very pretty. Then another person says, very beautiful. The third person says, where did you buy it from? Fourth person says, your choice is so pretty. I'll come next time with you to... <sighs> <laughs> Worth all the money I spent on buying that dress. And then I walk in. And I say, did you try this dress before you bought it from there? It's not looking nice on you at all. Anyone will feel bad when I say this? You'll cry. <laughs> will we feel bad if someone says that to us? How many of you feel, obviously we'll get hurt if someone says that to us? Nobody? So why don't you take means it's assumed that you will feel bad. It's like that. So, do I have the permission to say that I don't like the dress? Do I have the permission to say that I don't like her dress? Answer yes or no. Do I have the permission to say, I don't like your dress? <laughs> Not on the face, behind her back. Now you see when people are talking behind our back, why are they talking behind our back? Because they are not allowed to talk on the face. And then we say, why are they talking behind my back? Because we haven't given them the permission to talk in front. And so they have to go and talk behind my back. Why am I not allowed to say that I don't like your dress? Just think, just think. Why am I not allowed to say what I feel? I will hurt her by saying that I don't like her dress? Acha? <laughs> Sister, if I invite you on this stage now, <laughs> and we have a gathering of 1200 people here, and the most intelligent minds on the planet. <laughs> now, are you guaranteeing me now that all 1200 of you are going to like her dress? Acha, ye bhi no. <laughs> so, which means it's not necessary that we have to like her dress. Is that what you're saying? Yes. yes. But you're saying, but we should not say it. Acha. <laughs> so, it's okay not to like it, but don't say it. Achha. And then if, some, if she comes up to you and asks you, sister, how's my dress, what will you say? 
it's nice. You will say, it's nice. Now see what's happening. Did you just see what we've done? What have we just done? We've taught ourselves to lie and cheat people. We've taught ourselves to be fake and not authentic. We've taught ourselves to think something different and speak something different. We've taught ourselves to create fragile foundations of our so-called beautiful relationships. They are sitting on a lie. We are pleasing her with a lie. And we're saying, this is fine. This is better than speaking the truth. Theek hai? Theek hai? Theek hai? No, no, it's okay. I fortunately don't depend on your approval to feel nice about myself. <laughs> you absolutely need to disagree. We need to disagree with each other. How can we all always be in agreement? How is it possible? Let's come to a simple thing like a dress. How can everybody like the same dress? It's not possible. Is it possible for everyone to like the same dress? No. So isn't it wrong for us to expect that the world should like my dress? <laughs> Just pause. Who went with you to buy this dress? She's taken the most important person with her to buy the dress. So how many people are supposed to like your dress? One. Two? Two. Apart from that, does anybody else matter? No. So then why should we feel bad if somebody says that I don't like your dress? We are standing like this in front of people. Approve of me. Approve of me. Approve of me. Because when you approve of me, only then I'm a nice person. And then people come and throw their lies into our begging bowl and walk off. And we are very happy. So many people like my dress. And all that they did was gave a lie to please me. And then it starts with a simple thing as a dress and it can go on to the deepest, deepest aspects of our life. We need people's approval to feel good. Anyone who needs public approval to feel good cannot be happy always. Because they will be happy only when? Only when? When everyone says that you are a nice person. And that day might probably never come. And I will live my life trying to please other people so that when people say that I'm nice, then I'm going to be nice. Let's look at our thinking and break it down. You do programming, let's do programming of the mind. I chose my dress. I like it. I bought it because I like it. I'm wearing it because I like it. And I very well understand that everybody cannot have the same choice. And I give the world the freedom. I give the world the freedom to say what they want to about my dress. I did not buy it for them. I bought it for myself. Life will become very simple. And then I will go up to her and I'll say, Sister, I don't like your dress. And she'll say, it's fine, I understand your choice is different from me. Simple. Isn't it simple? And she'll say, it's absolutely fine that you don't like my dress because you and me can't have the same choice. But if she gets hurt and she says, how could she say this to me? Second line, how could she say this to me in front of so many people? Has she even seen her own sari? She doesn't even know what is colors. She wears the same white sari every day. No sense of choice, no sense of... We start disrespecting the other person. Why did we start disrespecting the other person? Because we don't respect ourselves. How can we respect other people? If we respected our choice, and choice not just in a dress, every decision you've taken in life, and every decision that you will take in the future in your life had to be by whose choice? Had to be by whose choice? My choice. There can be a day when you are standing alone and the whole world is standing on the other side. 
हो सकता है कि नहीं हो सकता एंड डज दैट मीन वी आर रॉन्ग बिकॉज वी आर स्टैंडिंग अलोन डज दैट मीन वी आर रॉन्ग बिकॉज वी आर स्टैंडिंग अलोन नो इट जस्ट मीन्स माई थाट एंड माई चॉइस एंड माई डिसीशन इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एवरीबडी एल्स हु इज राइट बिटवीन द टू हु इज राइट बिटवीन द टू मी और द वर्ल्ड बोथ सिंपल सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट will give me the power to respect other people but if i don't respect my choice my decisions and i need other people to approve of them then lack of self respect will not allow me to respect other people so do i need other people to like my dress do people need to lie to me to make me happy can people be their authentic self just just visualize that if you are clean here which means whatever you're thinking whatever you're feeling is what you're speaking what you're doing your this system will be clean now if i lie to her today and i say you're looking very pretty inside i'm like <laughs> such gaudy colors orange <laughs> so i create another thought what a horrible dress and i say what a pretty dress and when i'm saying something which i'm not believing i have to say it many times to make it convincing yeah and that's why you'll see we have to say things too many times sometimes to other people because we're trying to hide what we are feeling inside and then the next time again i say very pretty dress third time i say wonderful person and i keep lying like this for many many months or many many years and one day she comes up to me and she says i don't like what you're wearing what's going to happen that day what's going to happen that day what's going to happen that day that day the purpose of all my lies got डिफीटेड एंड दैट डे से तुम बैठो अभी मैं बताती हूँ तुम्हारे को सब कुछ करेंगे कि नहीं करेंगे बिकॉज दैट रिलेशनशिप वॉज स्टैंडिंग ऑन सच अ फेक फाउंडेशन वॉट इज हैपनिंग टूडे वी आर मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम आर ओरिजिनल इनेट ब्यूटिफुल ऑथेंटिक सेल्फ we are projecting ourselves to be completely something different we are projecting ourselves to be what we think the world wants us to be and we are doing and being that what the world thinks is right so that the world will say i am a nice person we wear clothes which the world says is right often we eat that which the world says is right often we drink that which the world says is right without sitting pausing asking myself is it right for me karte hain ki nahi karte hain how can i wear that what everybody is not wearing people will say i'm so i'm so old fashioned so i have to wear what everybody is wearing it starts from simple things of wearing eating drinking and then goes to the bigger things of ways of living take a simple example why do people like to wear torn jeans <laughs> just ask yourself simple question and there's nothing against torn jeans they're perfectly fine but i need to ask myself why do i prefer to wear torn jeans than to normal jeans why why is it more comfortable what's the reason everyone is wearing it and how must everyone has to have started what must have happened one day a young boy going to college university darwaze mein lag gaya nail <laughs> tore his jean couldn't go back home to change so went to class with torn jeans five people looked at him and said oh this is the way we are supposed to wear jeans nowadays went home cut their jeans 
That's how it used to be. 20 years back, people used to get full jeans and then cut their jeans. When I was in college, people literally had to cut their jeans because those were not sold in the market that time. And then finally, it reached a stage where the company has to today sell torn jeans. And nobody, nobody paused to check why are we wearing torn jeans? And nothing to do with torn jeans. But it's all about, why don't we pause to check what's right for me, otherwise we just copy what everyone else is doing. Because if we just copy what others are doing, they may be doing what's right for them. So torn jeans can be very comfortable for somebody else. And for someone else, they're just wearing what other people are wearing, and you can see it, they are not comfortable in what they are wearing. But they are wearing only what they are wearing, because other people say this is the right thing to wear. And that's it. From there itself, my self-respect starts becoming dependent on, starts becoming dependent on other people's opinion. So many people around me and so many opinions. And I have to get everybody's approval to feel good. Feeling good then becomes slightly difficult. It becomes slightly difficult. And we shift from that beautiful line which the angel said that peace, love and happiness is inside to approve of me. A very, very popular talk show in your country. And I saw the video on social media. And the host shared something very beautiful. And she said, I've conducted over 35,000 interviews. And she said, the who's who has been on my show. Presidents of countries, prime ministers, top corporate leaders, everybody has been on my show. And then she said, at the end of the show, in their own way, each one of them has come and asked me, was I good enough? It was such a learning. And she said, it's got me to learn that everyone needs only one thing. <laughs> approval. Approval and acceptance. It's become an addiction. And when we get addicted to this, you know, addiction, we could be ready to do anything for an addiction. And when we get addicted to it, we start doing some things which are not our dharma. Brother said, what is our dharma? What is our dharma means what is our quality? Quality. Dharma doesn't mean religion as we understand it. Dharma means what is my religion? What is my religion? What's my quality? What's my quality? Pani ka dharam kya hota hai? Pani ka dharam kya hota hai? Shitalta. Which means the quality, the dharma of water is to give coolness to everybody because that is the original quality of water. It's the dharma of water. What is the dharma of every human being? What's the dharma of every human being? The dharma of every human being, the quality of every human being is peace, purity, love, power, knowledge, bliss. And the purpose of our life is to bring our dharma in our every karma. And when we bring our dharma into our every karma, just see what the quality of life will become. Where your every scene of life, every situation is based on your dharma. And when we forget that, today we are ready to have wars in the name of religion. See how far we go away only because we forgot what is the true essence of our religion. So, do I want peace or am I peace? Do I want peace or am I peace? Do I want love or I am love? <laughs> so, 
So now you go home <laughs> and tell people, everyone around you, I want nothing from The more we seek, the more empty we get. Because, okay, let's take a simple example. Any of you ever created anger? Created anger? And when you created anger and you radiated it to the other person, who is the first person who got that energy of anger? But it was not meant for you, it was meant for the other person. It was meant for the other person. But who was the first person who got that energy of anger? Agreed? Everybody? So, bichara kon? Jo gussa kar rahe ya jo daant kha rahe? Bichara kon? Jo gussa kar rahe ya jo daant kha rahe? Each time I create anger, the first one who's going to get it is me. I cannot create it and experience it without feeling it. I cannot give it to other people. Now, the person on the other side, like his little son, over a period of time had got immune to his anger. It was not making any difference to him. So, which means the other side has an option whether to whether to take it from you or not take it from you. And majority people around you have developed their immunity systems. <laughs> yes, people don't get affected from habitual angry people anymore. Even at work, you can shout at them, they listen to you, after five minutes, they'll go to the coffee machine, stand there, make fun of you, come back. So people around you are not absorbing that emotion anymore. They know how to protect themselves, but the one creating it cannot protect themselves. They will have to experience it. Why? Because we created it to give it to them. We created it to give it to them. So the easiest way to experience an energy is to, is to, to create it and to give it to others. We have a very beautiful line at the Brahma Kumaris, which is, Dene me, Dene me hi lena samaya hua hai. Lene me lena ni samaya hua hai. Dene me lena samaya hua hai. Which means just give it to people, and while you're giving it to them, the first person who's going to get it is you. They have a choice whether to take it or no. Now, that is not true only for anger, that's also true for. That's also true for love, that's also true for respect, that's also true for app. Just give. So what a little mistake we made, we just shifted the equation and we said, I want. And hum ghar gai and we said, I want. And the other person said? What did the other person say? I also want. <laughs> and then we together looked at our children and said, we want. And they said, huh? We thought we are going to get from you. Everyone's asking the other person for love and respect. Everyone's asking the other person, trust me, respect me, love me, understand me, accept me. And because everyone's standing like this, and we're not getting it even after we are asking for it, the vacuum inside, the vacuum inside is getting deeper and deeper and deeper. It's an emptiness because nobody is filling it. So how do I fill that vacuum? Because nobody is giving it to me. How do I fill that vacuum? How do I fill that vacuum? I shift from... I shift from asking to... Now. I want love, shifts to? I want love, shifts to? I give. Understand me. Please understand me. Shifts to? Shifts to? I will understand you. Respect me. I respect you. Which one is easier? Which one is easier? <laughs> I 
आप लोग अपने घर में दिया जलाते हैं दिया जलाते हैं एंड दिया जलाना शुभ होता है ऐसा मानते हैं राइट right? एंड कहा जाता है अगर वो दिया बुझ जाता है तो तो क्या होता है अशुभ होता है और लोग क्या करते हैं बुझते हुए दिए के पास फटाफट भागते हैं ताकि बुझते हुए दिए को क्या कर दे संभाल ले ताकि दिया बुझे नहीं विच दिया आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिया 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 प्यार दिया सम्मान दिया विश्वास दिया खुशी दिया वो दिया बुझना नहीं चाहिए था वो दिया नहीं बुझना चाहिए था जब वो दिया बुझेगा तो जीवन अशुभ हो जाएगा वी शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम दिया टू लिया एंड देन वी शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम लिया टू छीना and that's why we are feeling that vacuum now what spirituality does it just reverses my equation so programming changes and it's very easy so once i know the right programming i change the code life changes after that so i will now not stand in front of anybody and say respect me love me i will say every morning one line to myself i need nothing from anyone programming eh one way of programming is i need 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 one way of programming is i need nothing from anyone keh sakte hain kahiye zara theek lag raha hai thoda say it every day this is mantra repeat it every day the sanskar of wanting will disappear it's only a belief system i was taught the wrong way i was taught that i need to get and when i remember no i don't need to get i need to give i don't need anything from anyone few days of giving this mind the right instruction programming done for the rest of my life one wrong coding one wrong coding we can live with the wrong output for the rest of our life one change output changed for the rest of the life every day i need nothing from anyone i only i only give and i only give and give and give and 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 kab tak i only give now when i start giving without wanting anything in return my qualities which are blocked here start flowing because i'm not standing in the wanting line and the waiting line i'm not waiting please understand me i immediately come up and say okay let me understand you i'm not waiting in the line saying please talk to me properly no i'll talk to you properly i'm not waiting in the queue saying respect me no i respect you life becomes so simple don't need to wait for anybody and most important when we create it and we radiate it we get that what we want the peace love and happiness it can only be experienced from inside out let's stop waiting for it to come from outside in and that's why you liked the line when didi said the angel said ke wo andar hai to line to bahut achhi lagi thi so purpose of my life becomes who i am i start using that in every scene of my life irrespective of whether people around me are using it or not How many of you create anger? Everybody nahi. Anybody this side? Gussa karna normal hai? Gussa karna normal hai? Ho jata hai. Never mind. Ho jata hai bhi achhi baat hai. Aajkal log bolte hain ho thodi jata hai. Wo dila dete hain. Hum thodi karte hain. Hum kyu karenge? हमारा थोड़ी मन था अपना मूड खराब करने का वो आए और उन्होंने आकर मुझे गुस्सा दिला दिया 
So at least we are still on the safer side where we are saying that ho jata hai. Now let's shift that ho jata hai to I am creating it. And why am I creating it? Because when people and situations are not my way, I believed that getting angry is normal. Change the coding. Change the coding. My old programming says, when people and situations are my way, I'm happy. When people and situations are not my way, Now, let's change the programming. When people and situations are my way, I'm happy. When people and situations are not my way, when people and situations are not my way, huh? After today, huh? huh. Programming change karne mein kitna time lagta hai? It's just a change of a belief system. If I don't know this mic's position, which is on, which is off, I will keep struggling with the wrong position for the rest of my life. And then comes Kusumben and she says, Are Baba, it is like this, and that's it. How much time does it take? But just because I didn't know which was the right position, I will keep fidgeting with the wrong position and say, On kyun ora? On kyun ora? On kyun ora? Wrong position. So, when people and situations are my way, I'm happy. When people and situations are not my way, I am? I'm happier. <laughs> See, apna computer hai Whatever you program, it will work accordingly. If you program your mind and you say, when people and situations are not my way, obviously I'll get hurt, obviously I'll get angry, obviously I'll feel bad. Programming kardi, jivan bhar wo yoga. Now you create another programming. I understand people and situations cannot be my way. How can I even expect them to be my way always? They are going to be? They are going to be their way. And when they are their way, I am absolutely fine. From tomorrow, your mind will be fine. It's like a child. You teach a child, this is a chair. And the child will call it a chair for the rest of his life. But if you tell the child, this is a table, the child will call it the table for the rest of his life. Till at the age of 30, someone comes and tells him, Nay, Baba, a table nahi hai, a chair hai. Even then that child will say, Nay, Mommy, Papa ne bola tha, ye table hai. <laughs> and we do the same. No, the world says anger is normal. Some people even tell me, doctors say anger is normal. How can you say anger is not needed? Because deep programming, I was taught that way. And I even experienced it. So when at the age of three or four, we went to the market with our parents, and we said, Mommy, mujhe ye chahiye. And they looked at us and said, no, you're not getting that. We have it at home. And I again said, no, I want this. And they said, no, you're not getting that. So the third time, I screamed over there in the shop. And my mommy, papa got so scared, they said, Lelo, Lelo, Pai, Chup. <laughs> that day I learned, oh ho, aise kaam karwana hota hai apna. <laughs> and I then it started experiencing it life. Say it politely to somebody, please do this. They'll say, ha ha, I'm doing it. Next time again, ha ha. Say it little loudly, work gets done. And then I say, acha, anyways, I'm short of time. Who's going to waste time using the first two options? So every time it's now in the louder volume, always. And then gradually, doing it repeatedly, it became my, it became my sanskar. And when it became my sanskar, I started using the sanskar of anger, and my sanskar of peace was lying there on the side. It does not mean that I do not have the sanskar of peace. It just meant I stopped using it. Because I thought it does not work. Often people nowadays believe values do not work. And so they've kept them there on the side. If I use the sanskar of peace, will work get done? Peace, patience, empathy, compassion, will work get done? Nay? 
काम होगा अच्छा इफ यू वॉन्ट सम वन एल्स हु इज गोइंग टू गेट वर्क डन फ्रॉम यू वॉट लैंग्वेज डू यू वॉन्ट देम टू यूज वॉट लैंग्वेज डू यू वॉन्ट देम टू यूज विद यू यू वॉन्ट देम टू बी नाइस टू यू सो इफ समबडी हैज टू गेट वर्क डन फ्रॉम यू इट शुड बी द नाइस लैंग्वेज बट इफ यू हैव टू गेट वर्क डन फ्रॉम समबडी एल्स एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स द सेम थिंग it's just that over a period of time over a period of time we have done our programming that anger is needed to get the work done and even they have started programming that jab gussa karenge na tabhi urgent hai why they look at your little child you have to wake them up in the morning to go to school how many of you need to raise your volume a little in the morning to wake up your children Suppose you have a child has to wake up at six o'clock, so the first ringtone is at five forty-five, which is a sweet. Beta, ut jao. We have to go to school. Five fifty ringtone changes. Six o'clock ringtone changes, and when that six o'clock ringtone comes, the child knows this is six o'clock, so they will wake up. They will not get up fifteen minutes before. They know us as well as we know. them so what happens it becomes a habit every day 5:45 i say it very sweetly but by 6 o'clock i say gussa to karna hi padta hai and the early morning begins with the early morning begins with a disturbed parent radiating a disturbed energy to a child who is going to go to school to study and this can go on for this can go on for i meet parents in india their children come here to study in university and from there they call them up to wake them up in the morning <laughs> yes they do yes they do and after 10 minutes they again call them up to confirm ut gaya na beta <laughs> because they were living with that programming they didn't find the need to change it for 20 years so programming will continue now just go home and tell your child Okay, my ringtone at six o'clock is going to be very sweet and peaceful. You want to go to school? You go. You don't want to go? You sleep. Yes. And how many days do you think they will sleep and miss school? How many days do you think they will sleep and miss school? One or two days, which also they will not do. But even if they miss one or two days, it's fine to miss school for two days rather than start every morning on an angry, disturbed note. it's fine and then and then we will say why can my child not concentrate why can they not concentrate because early mornings were meant to be early mornings were meant to be if we want to change our quality of life if we want to change the world all we need to do is create a high energy morning just go back 20 years what was the morning what used to be the morning morning well begun is half done you know bachche school mein hum sunte the well begun half done early to bed early to rise i don't know whether they still have the same ones now lines it must have changed how would the early morning be early morning early morning high energy high energy peaceful calm mind charged ready to go to work ready to go to school not like that family early morning at breakfast <laughs> see that was an absolutely disturbed low frequency minds going to work and going to school and once i start my morning on the lower frequency then raising my frequency during the day becomes very very tough it's only my morning my personal time where we have where we can raise our vibration and so today we change our programming anger is a 
anger is? Anger is an illness. Anger is abnormal. Anger is me losing completely control over myself. Anger is me shifting from my original beautiful self. Anger is me shifting from my beautiful perfect inner self. Anger is me saying things which can ruin relationships for many, many years. And so I'm not going to be using this weapon anymore. Kare? Kare? One week homework. One week. One week, chai kuch bhi ho jai. Come what may be the situation. Peace and calm will be my response. How many have personal guarantee for one week? Daro mat apnai mane. Abhi aap se koi kahe, one week mein you have to get this work done at work. Everybody will raise their hands. Yes, I'll be able to get work done from other people. Getting work done from ourselves. If Silicon Valley takes on the responsibility that every organization here becomes a no anger zone. No one is allowed to get angry with anyone from 9 to 6 while they are at work. Can we do that? Can we do that? Respect that dignity at workplace. No anger, no smoking and no anger, both go hand in hand because both are toxic for the one doing it and for everybody else and for the atmosphere. Can we make our organization a no anger zone? Can we make our organization a no anger zone? You make it and the world will copy it. You'll be giving a gift to the world and you will be contributing towards creating a peaceful world. It's very simple, it's very simple. Whatever we allow, people keep using it. Just say you're not allowed to use this weapon while you are here and if you feel like getting angry, go out for 10 minutes, come back. Like people go out now once in a while. So they can go out, come back after 10 minutes, but they're not allowed to throw it out at workplace. And if we don't create anger at workplace, we will reach home happier than what we left in the morning. And when we reach home happy in the evening, we will be having happy children. And when we reach home happy in the evening, tomorrow morning we'll be going happier than what we were today. It's a vicious cycle towards happiness. Or it can be a vicious cycle towards. So a lot of responsibility is on the workplace because we're spending a lot of time there, we're creating a lot of sanskars there. If I want to finish my sanskar of anger, I will need to start using my sanskar of peace, because I have both. Both the files are there. Having used that anger many times, it's gone into the automatic mode. So we don't even believe I'm creating anger, we're saying, Bo it's in the auto mode. Now, is it easy to change a habit? Is it easy to change a habit? How many of you have ever changed a habit? Habit, habit, simple, habit. Ever changed a habit? He says, after marriage, I changed my habits. <laughs> Unaware, we have changed lot of habits. Lot of habits, even simple habits of time we sleep, time we wake up, what we eat, what we drink, even simple habits. Look at a simple habit like driving a car. That's also a habit, no? It's a sanskar. So the first time we learned how to drive the car, who was driving the car? We were driving the car. Any of us talking on the phone while driving the car? No. Any of us listening to music while driving the car on the first day? No. Any of us having our breakfast while driving the car? No. On the first day. 
because on the first day what were we doing we were driving the car so the mind the intellect the sanskar everything was driving the car after one month <laughs> after one month i can be talking i can be eating and i can be listening to music and i'll reach office anyone here can do that Yes, we can do that. And while we are doing that, who's driving the car? Because we are doing so many other things. Who's driving the car at that time? The habit is driving the car. I don't need to drive the car anymore. This is when the sanskar, the habit, is gone into the auto mode. I don't need to think. I don't need to decide. I just sit in the car and I'm doing other things and my habit of driving the car is driving the car. And then one day I shifted from India and I came here. A slightly different way of driving the car. I'm sure on the first day you could not listen to music or talk or eat when you came to a slightly different way of using the car. Because that day you were shifting towards creating a... creating a new habit. After 10 days, again you could listen to music, talk and eat and your new habit was driving the car. How many days to change a habit? How many days to change a habit? How many days to change a habit? Now, now, can you again change the habit of driving the car? Suppose you shift back again to India today, again a new way of driving the car. And that means we are all able to change any habit, any time. It only requires a small transition period. A small transition period. First time you went to work, somebody asked you what would you like to have, tea, coffee, green tea, Nimbu pani, coconut water, all options. There were a lot of options on the first day. And the mind said, coffee. Decision taken, coffee. Second day, they again asked you, tea, coffee, nimbu pani. You again said, coffee. How many times are they going to ask you and give you options? After a few days, what are you going to tell them? Coffee. For the rest of your life, you will get coffee. Until? until. New piece of information, coffee is not good for health. Information, I got it from somewhere. And I opened my mind again to options. And I said, no, coffee is not good. What are the other options I have? And I again shifted from the auto mode of having coffee every day, I shifted to the mode of creating options. Kariya hai, aisa kisi ne? Kiya hai humne? Yes. Now the next day, again options. Again options. Green tea, coconut water, nimbu pani. And you said coconut water. The other person says to you, coffee ke bina nahi chalega. And you'll say, no, I've chosen a new habit, a new way of living. So it's coconut water. On the first day, you might get a slight discomfort feeling. Why? Because we were addicted to coffee. We are even addicted to certain behaviors today. And when we don't behave that way, for a few days it can feel a little uncomfortable. All that we have to do is cross those few days of discomfort feeling. And then for the rest of our life we would be drinking coconut water. Easy to change a habit? Now, let's shift from the car to the coffee to anger. I've been using it for many years. Now, I don't want to reach the stage where he reached. Where he reached, right? Now, what do I want to do? I want to shift towards creating a sanskar of patience and peace. How many days to change a habit? How many days to change a habit? 
First and foremost, I need to understand that the new habit is healthy for me. I need to have a firm faith that this works. And most important, purpose of my life is not only to get work done, purpose of my life is to get work done with respect and dignity, extend the line. Purpose of my life is not only to get my children to study and get good marks, purpose of my life is to have emotionally healthy children getting good marks. Change ho gaya? Purpose of my life is not that my child should have the roti that I've made for them, purpose of my life is that child should be happy and then have the roti. So I can't just shout at him and ask him to get it done. So I extend my responsibilities. And once I do that, Programming done, tomorrow morning, Monday morning. Situations will still not be my way. People will still not be my way. But today I have chosen another way to respond. Do you believe that your mind will obey you? Do you believe your mind will obey you? Every day, please say one line to yourself, Mera hi man hai. <laughs> mera hi hai. It's like saying, Sabke bachche mera kehna man hai, aur mera hi bachcha mera kehna nahi manta hai. Aisa kaise ho sakta hai? Everyone else obeys you. Everyone listens to what you say. How can your own mind not listen to what you say? Why will it not follow your instruction? It's just that I've changed and I'm giving a new instruction now. That's all. Koshish kare. Shuru kare. Kare. Yes. Do you want to change the sanskar? And do we want to shift towards using our original sanskars in our every karma? Then what do we have to do is, whatever we want, we will start with I am that. We will not say, I want peace. We will say, I am a peaceful being. This is pure science. Every thought we create, every thought we create, it radiates. And what radiates, it manifests. If I keep saying, I want peace, I want peace, I will keep wanting it. Now, if I start saying, I am a peaceful being, because we said, I am. I am giving a blessing to myself. I am. I always will be. So let's start our morning with, I am a peaceful being. Suppose, for example, Choose any one situation of your life. It could be a sanskar, it could be a health issue, it could be relationship, it could be work. Just put it here. Hold your hand in the front, please. Lick it out, Samne. And put that one issue of your life there. And you're not having to tell anybody what it is. And keep it at 50%, a 50% issue. And now start radiating thoughts to that. What a big problem in my life. Is this ever going to get resolved? Why did this happen to me? Kitni bari problem aagai mere jeevan mein. And I go on creating these thoughts. What will happen to this 50%? What will happen to this 50% problem? Will it intensify? How many of you believe that just by creating thoughts, the problem can shift from 50% to 60%? Suppose I'm not well physically and I only create a thought, maybe maru, maybe maru, maybe maru, maybe maru, maybe maru, I'm unwell, I'm unwell, I'm unwell. Will my pain increase from 50% to 60%? Agreed? And who's doing that? What's the power? And which means I create the energy which can escalate the problem. If my mind has the power to escalate the problem, does my mind have the power to take the problem to from 50 to 40 instead of 50 to 60? Yes. 
ओके सो वेन आई सेट प्रॉब्लम है प्रॉब्लम है प्रॉब्लम है इट वेंट फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी सो वॉट शुड आई से फॉर इट टू शिफ्ट फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू फोर्टी फिफ्टी टू फोर्टी इट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम आई कैन सॉल्व माई प्रॉब्लम अच्छा और बेटर हायर फ्रीक्वेंसी और लेट्स रेज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ आर थॉट्स हाँ बिकॉज वेन देर सो लो प्रॉब्लम इंटेंसिफाइज वी वॉन्ट टू वी वॉन्ट टू डिप्लीट एंड फिनिश द प्रॉब्लम सो रेज द थॉट हाँ आई एम नो प्रॉब्लम अच्छा और ऊंचा हाँ थिंक ऑपोजिट सो वॉट द थॉट नो वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द थॉट टू ब्रिंग द प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू फोर्टी वी सॉ फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी ना फिफ्टी टू फोर्टी ऑल इज वेल हाँ देखो जीवन कैसी है बहुत बढ़िया है कोई प्रॉब्लम है नहीं जी कौन सी प्रॉब्लम है कहाँ है प्रॉब्लम हमारे जीवन में तो कोई प्रॉब्लम है ही नहीं एक छोटी सी सीन आई हुई है चली जाएगी हाँ जी एंड विच मीन्स इफ आई डोंट कॉल इट अ प्रॉब्लम दैट इट सेल्फ विल ब्रिंग इट फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू फोर्टी सो नाउ वॉट आर वी डूइंग वी आर यूजिंग आर थॉट पावर to create a reality of our choice in hindi is a very beautiful line sankalp se srishti banti hai which means our thought manifests into reality sankalp se srishti banti hai means sankalp means thought and srishti means my world so as will be my thought so will be my वर्ल्ड सो इफ आई से प्रॉब्लम है प्रॉब्लम है सो विल बी माई वर्ल्ड नाउ आई हैव अ संस्कार ऑफ एंगर फिफ्टी परसेंट इफ आई कीप से गुस्सा है गुस्सा है गुस्सा है गुस्सा है एंड एवरीबडी अराउंड मी ऑल्सो से बहुत गुस्सा है इनके अंदर एंड समबडी एल्स कम से इसका गुस्सा तो कभी नहीं जाएगा एंड तीसरा आके बोलता है ये तो पैदा ही गुस्सा हुआ था कहते हैं कि नहीं ऐसे हम सो वेन वी गिव सच पावरफुल अफर्मेशंस दैट येस दिस पर्सन इज एन एंग्री सोल वॉट विल हैपन टू द संस्कार ऑफ एंगर फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी नाउ लेट्स ब्रिंग इट फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू फोर्टी फिफ्टी टू फोर्टी फोर्टी टू थर्टी नहीं संस्कार ऑफ एंगर what do we do what's the thought we create when you came to the brahma kumaris for the first time first day first lesson i am a pure being koi purity nahi thi kahin bhi but meditation may contemplate i am a pure being next day i am a peaceful soul third day i am a loveful soul कहीं नहीं था कुछ भी गुस्सा 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 लेकर आए थे एंड जस्ट स्टार्टेड कॉन्टम्पलेटिंग आई एम अ पीसफुल बींग स्टार्टेड विजुअलाइजिंग आई एम अ पीसफुल बींग अफोमेशन आई एम अ पीसफुल बींग विजुअलाइजेशन आई एम अ पीसफुल बींग पता ही नहीं चला पता ही नहीं चला कि कब वो सिक्सटी से फिफ्टी फिफ्टी से फोर्टी फोर्टी से अभी थर्टी पे आ गया आ गया बाकी भी चला जाएगा I'm sure, because I have understood the understood the programming, the technique. के उसको कहाँ लेके जाना है? So whatever we want in reality, we are going to create a thought. It is. So whether it's for a sanskar, whether it's for a physical health issue, whether it's for a relationship issue, whether it's for a work-related issue. Suppose I don't get along with him. and i'm going to keep saying i just don't get along with him we always have a problem today again i have to meet him i don't know what's going to happen today so what am i going to do to the conflict 50 se 50 se 
60. What should be my thought to bring it from 50 to 40? 50 to 40, what should be my thought? I get along with him very well. Jhootana? Jhootana? It's a lie. Yes, it is a lie. And why am I saying this lies? Because I don't create the thoughts of what my life is. I create the thoughts of what my life should be. Because I know the equation that my life doesn't create my thoughts, my thought creates my life. So I'm not going to go the other way around. So I will create the thought what I want my life to be. Now, I have hypertension. I have high cholesterol. I have thyroid. What should my thought be? What should my thought be? My cholesterol is? Normal. Simple. But if I keep creating a thought, high cholesterol, everybody will, Dheere haang, high cholesterol, high cholesterol, high cholesterol. Khana khate samay bhi usme aashirwaad dal dete. Khao nahi, high cholesterol. <laughs> you know, we all meet each other and we say, give me a blessing. Hum apne bache ko lekar aate hain, bolte hain, please isko blessing do. Blessing do means our every thought is a blessing. So let us bless ourselves, we don't need to ask people for blessings. Our every thought for ourselves, our every thought for our family, especially our every thought for our children can be a blessing. So, if cholesterol is a high, hai, toh what should be the blessing? <coughs> blessing? Cholesterol is normal. So, sanskar, health, relationship. The world is? The world is one way of living, the world is a mess. That could be my blessing to the world. And second, the world is the world is a perfect, beautiful place. Now we are going to start using this technique in every aspect of our life. My child does not eat properly. Anyone has this little issue at home? Anyone has this little issue at home? Yes? Yes? Okay. So then what do we start saying? Bache khana hi nikhate. Children don't eat properly. Everybody else also say, Achha, bache khana hi nikhate. Family comes over from India and we say, Mommy, mere bache khana hi nikhate. Then the dadi and the nani also sit together and say, Achha, bache khana hi nikhate. <laughs> and every one is saying, khana ni khate, khana ni khate, khana ni khate. The house is vibrating at that energy, khana hi ni khate. Hota hai ya nahi hota? And phir hum pyaar se kitchen mein jate hai, khana bana rahe hai. And even while cooking, we create a thought, khate to hai nahi. <laughs> hota hai ki nahi hota hai se? And after we put that ashirwad in the khana, ke khate to hai nahi. And then we expect them to eat after that. Change the thought. What's the thought? Give them a blessing. Sankalp se srishti banti hai. Thought will become a reality. What's the thought? What's the thought? Hanji, baut khate nahi thought create karna. Be careful with the thought. Isi le kaha jata hai, dhyan se socho, sankalp se siddhi ho jati hai. Agar aapne thought create kya bahut khate hai, toh thode din ke baad? So not bahut khate hai. What's the thought? Accurate thinking. What's the thought? Achha khate hai, most important, sahi khate hai. They eat everything that is right for them. Very high nutrition diet. My children eat everything that I cook for them. <laughs> they are going to eat this with lot of love. They are going to enjoy this meal. That meal will vibrate with that energy. And then you watch what happens. Sankalp se siddhi hai. Now, 
This is such a powerful tool, you can create it to create any miracles in your life. And not just miracles in your life, you can create miracles in everybody else's life. But unaware of the technique, we are creating thoughts which are opposite to what we want. I am stressed. I am depressed. What a depressing weather. <laughs> what an irritating person. Every line is opposite of a blessing and so life became opposite of a blessing. Nobody else can bless us to change our destiny. Our every thought needs to be a blessing. First thing in the morning, five minutes. Just five minutes to begin with. We will create a short meditation for ourselves, based on what destiny we want. On our sanskars, on our health, on our relationships, on our work, we will create a short meditation. Five minutes in the morning, we will create that affirmation and we will visualize that happening in reality. This is programming. So the first thing to do it is the first thought in the morning. Which means what was your first thought in the morning? The destiny of the day depends on the first thought in the morning. So be very careful what's the first thought in the morning. The first thought has to be a very high vibration thought of what you want your destiny to be. So five minutes in the morning? We all have five minutes in the morning? Yes. Last thought before going to sleep. If we sleep with the right thought, six hours of sleep, a lot of programming happens into the subconscious. Sleep with one wrong thought, and by the time you wake up, it's a reality. Because it's gone deep inside. And that's why we are taught, even if you've had an argument, even if you've had a conflict, sort it out before you go to sleep. Because what's, what's the problem? Why can't we sleep and then talk it over in the morning? Why should we talk about it in the night? Because if I sleep with the wrong thought, then in those six hours it's getting from 50 to 60. Create the right thought before sleeping, it will go from 50 to 40. So five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the night before going to sleep and keep on creating that thought till you fall off to sleep. So if I want to finish my sanskar of anger and I'm creating a thought, I'm a peaceful soul. I don't need anything from anyone. I accept each one as they are. I keep saying and visualizing this till I fall off to sleep. So that my last thought is high energy. So first thing in the morning, last thing before going to sleep. After every one or two hours, one minute reminder. At the Brahma Kumaris, we have a very beautiful technique which is called traffic control. After every hour, we pause for one minute. One minute pause can create miracles. It's like one minute of charging. Pause, withdraw, create the right thought, back into action. Just one minute. So five minutes in the morning, five minutes before going to sleep, one minute after every one hour. Easy? Easy? It's not talking about hours, it's talking only about a few minutes. And a very important time is when we are beginning a meal or having a glass of water. Food absorbs vibrations, water absorbs vibrations. So if I have my plate, or if I have my glass of water before me, and I'm creating a thought, I just don't get along well with him. Because it's my reality right now, I'm thinking about it, or I'm even talking about it to someone. The food and the water will absorb my vibration, and whatever is absorbed by the food and the water will become my dominant thought. And then that thought will intensify on my mind. So we were always taught that just before eating, pray. And how many of us do that? 
Nowadays, what is our thought just before eating? What's our thought before eating? Remote kidder hai TV ka? I got my 15 minutes to relax with my plate. See what happens if I'm watching something on television, whether it's the world news, whether it's a movie or any serial. And while I'm watching it, I'm eating. What is the quality of the information across there? So will be the quality of my thoughts. So will be the energy absorbed by the food. And so will become my dominant thinking. So television with food is an absolute? Is an absolute? No. Just me with my right thinking. Me connecting to the Supreme Power, saying my prayer, putting my right intention in that food and consciously eating, not mindlessly eating, not even knowing what I am putting inside me. Conscious eating. Eating is not only physical health, eating is emotional health. Jaisa an vaisa, we never questioned. Ke jaisa an vaisa tan hona chahiye tha na? But jaisa an vaisa man kyun? Why is the food connected to the mind? The food had to be connected to the body. Jaisa an vaisa man means the vibrations of the food create the quality of our thoughts. So ten minutes mindful eating, aware eating, creating the right energy while eating. Preferably being in silence or only happy conversations. No discussing problems of the day on dinner table. Not discussing problems of life while eating. Not having business meetings while eating. Meeting over lunch. Lunch and then meeting. Lunch and then meeting. Not meeting one hour with lunch there in front of you. It will absorb all your problems, your profit, your loss, everything will get absorbed in the food. These are very simple things because of which our emotional health is affected, which we are not aware. Once we start taking care, we are going to be back to our normal self, very healthy. Very healthy. In a time when we didn't have too much of technology around us, we didn't have information, we didn't have media, we didn't have social media, we were following these habits automatically, just unaware. But when we are surrounded by so much, now we will need to take care. Ek hat mein phone, dusre hat mein khana. Or saam ne TV. So we create the absolute atmosphere to make it go completely. We have all the elements of making it go completely the other way. So can we have a peaceful, happy dinner time? Ten minutes. Every time you eat, please remind yourself, it's for the mind, not just for the body. Because otherwise, today we are eating, oh, I grabbed my breakfast. The word is also, grab a bite before you leave. Then, chalte, 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 aisa kha rahe hai. Nahi, mein jaldi, jaldi, jaldi mein. Oh, kiya na, usne wo bread jaldi, jaldi mein hai. This is what it is doing. Because it's radiating vibrations of hurry, of busy, of stress to the food and that's why we are busier than what we used to be because we put that into the food. Experiment, just one month. Just experiment for one month. Seven to eight minutes is all that it takes to have a meal. Let's not be so busy earning money that we forget the techniques of how to be happy. Because all the money put together cannot get happiness and emotional health. It can only get wealth and saman. Things, not happiness. Is it okay? Yes? Can we start having mindful eating practices? Because if we do it, our children will learn the same. If we eat in a hurried manner, talking on the phone, children will do the same. 
and we have started doing it after the age of 25, even then we are facing the consequences. What will happen to children who are doing it at the age of four and five? They don't know what it is to be easy and relaxed because they are in an energy of always hurry, hurry, busy, busy. So we'll have to create that same atmosphere back at home, what used to be and who we want to be. So first thing in the morning, last thing before going to sleep, one minute after every one hour and just before we have a meal and we have our glass of water. Energize your water, this is emotional hygiene. We only see glass saaf hai, ha. pani saaf hai, ha. vibration saaf hai. Vibration saaf hai. Water absorbs the energy of your office. Isi liye, go back to the little olden times, people used to not eat out. If you go and ask your grandparents or great-grandparents, they used to take their bartan and their glass with them every day. Yes or no? And we said, kitne old-fashioned hai? Aise kaise kon kar sakta hai? They were doing it for their emotional health. They were doing it for their emotional health because they knew the science of vibrations. Because they were focusing more on the inner sciences rather than the outer sciences. Today we have the benefit of the outer science, but let's not forget the inner science. If someone is worried and is cooking for you, after half an hour you will not know why you are worrying. If someone is upset and is cooking for you, after half an hour you will be hurt about something in your life. It's a direct emotional infection, vibration. Why is Prashad so important? Why was Prashad so important? High energy food. High energy food. So let's experiment with a month of high energy sattvic food. An animal in the slaughterhouse, what are the emotions? One, fear. Two, stress. Three, Anger, four, hatred, five, hurt, pain, six, helplessness, seven, violence, eight, death. And we said proteins, <laughs> which is true, it's proteins. So, but we were focusing only on the physical nutrient. Now my food should be that which has physical and emotional right nutrients. So experiment with sattvic food. Just experiment with food which is vibrating at a high energy. And that's not only vegetarian, but vegetarian cooked in a very high state of mind. Cooked in a very peaceful state of mind, not a busy, busy, busy state of mind. Don't eat that food. You are directly absorbing emotions of people who cook for you. Eat carefully. And please guide your children to eat carefully. The easiest way to have a happy family, cook for them. You and me have eaten food cooked by our mothers three meals a day. Yes or no? Yes. And yet we are going through what we are going today. What's going to happen to these little children for whom cooking at home is becoming an alien concept? What's going to happen? Food cooked by the mother was what? Food of love. Aaj bhi, aapko wo mammi ki haat ki wo wali cheez achhi lagti hogi. Yes or no? It's not about the taste. It's not about the taste. It is her vibration in that food. Why is it said that the way to a man's heart is through his? Kabhi humne socha is line ka meaning kya hai? What is the meaning of this line? If you cook for someone, your mind gets connected to their mind. If you want your children to be emotionally connected to you, cook for them. If they are going to eat food which is cooked for the intention of profit and earning money, their minds will be connected with money more than family. And that's the only reason why money is becoming a higher priority than relationships today. Food cooked with the intention of I earn, you eat. Let's go back to eating at home. 
And let's never ever say, I don't have time to cook. Let's never ever say that. Just say, I am going to find the time, I have to do this for my family, because everything I'm doing is for the happiness of my family and for my children. Simple khichdi khao, lekin ghar mein banai hoi taazi khao. Kar sakte? Kar sakte? Kar sakte? Sab kuch kar sakte, sirf? Decision. Decision. And while cooking, no thinking of office, no thinking of problems. Let your kitchen have bhajans, good songs, good music, and you recite your prayers, meditate, chant, cook the food. You will be cooking prasad every day at home. We can cook prasad every day at home. We don't need to get only this much prasad. So everything we eat can be prasad, everything we drink can be amrit. Amrit lene jate na aise mandir mein, and aise lete, par usko aise karte. What is the meaning of doing this? क्यों कर रहे हैं ऐसा करें ना why ऐसा why because the vibrations of this amrit because someone had put a very high energy word into that water it was just water with a high energy blessing so I take it and I do this ये करना था but now I want my every glass of water to be an amrit so hold your glass of water Hold your glass of water, visualize, get your glass of water here. Emotionally clean it. Pause for 10 seconds before you drink it. It's got a lot of vibrations of a lot of people around here. And just pause for 10 seconds and say, I am a divine being. Purity, peace and love is my nature. I accept each one as they are. My body is perfect, healthy, and after that, anything else you want. Every day, for every glass of water, it will be reality. That's the power of vibrations. So first thing in the morning, last thing before going to sleep, after every one hour, one minute, and with every meal and every glass of water. Only glass of water, no other glasses, <laughs> only glass of water, glass of milk. Why even put anything which is not good for me? Sab log lete hain aaj kal. That sab log lete hain is becoming the biggest reason for me making wrong choices. And if I don't have to say it, then what will everyone say? What will people say? That's why it's said that the biggest disease is the most important thing. What will people say? People. It's a disease. Wanting public approval. So, you got your problem for your problem? Affirmation? Everything that you fitted there in the 50%? Now, do you know what thought to create for that? Everyone? Everyone? Anybody who's not got it, kya create kar da? It should not be, I want, I hope, I should be. It should be, it is. Did you know why Brother Gagan said in the evening, today will be the best event? And I was going to look at him from the first row and saying, matlab? And then after that, when I said, huh, he looked at me and he said, nahi, nahi, the best ever event. <laughs> so what did he do to his thought? He, he blessed that event with his right energy, right vibration. Hum kya kehte hai, pata hai? I hope your event goes well. May God bless you. May kyo? Hope kyo? That's a low vibration. What should it be? Yes. Change the line to change your reality. It should be a pure, powerful, positive affirmation. And that is a blessing. So our every thought, our every word can be a blessing for us and for everyone around us. You have an issue at work, create your blessing for it. 
Create your blessing for it. Visualize it every morning, every night, and most important, every time you eat and drink. And within a few days, you're going to find things changing. It's not the food and water which will change the things. It's just that the food and water make that my dominant thought. And then my dominant thought changes the reality. Pure science. But we need to experiment. We don't believe or we don't accept anything till we experiment. Spirituality is all about experimentation. Experiment, experience, and only then believe. Till then, it's only a belief. It's not the truth. It's not the truth. And when we start doing that, we will start creating the right sanskars and we will make our right sanskars come into every action. We will be radiating the right feeling. So that vacuum, what will happen to that vacuum? What will happen to that vacuum? Bhar jayega. Contentment is not dependent on how much I achieve. People could be number one in the world in where the field they are and yet not be contented because contentment is not dependent on how much I have achieved. It is dependent on how I have been living my life while I was achieving it. When we start learning the technique of creating the right thinking and we spend a few minutes with ourselves every day the art of meditation. Connecting with ourselves, connecting to the Supreme Power, energizing ourselves, and then radiating that to everybody. Because to give people, you have to fill yourself first. The fire will become when it will be burned. If it is not burned, it will not burn. The fire is the fire. Which fire is the fire? Jnana fire. Jnana fire, when it is burned a day, what is the law? इसीलिए जब लॉ फ्लिकर करते हैं तो क्या करते हैं फटाफट उसमें थोड़ा सा घी डालते हैं ज्ञान डालते हैं सो ज्ञान मींस नॉलेज एंड मेडिटेशन मींस एक्सरसाइज फॉर द सोल ये दो चीजें जब करने शुरू करते देन आर धर्मा विल कम इन आर एवरी कर्मा एंड वी विल बी अ वेरी प्योर डिवाइन कंटेंटेड and radiating those qualities to everyone, an angel for where and who we are with. Today the world is looking for angels. The world is invoking angels. Guardian angel. Angel for this problem, angel for this problem, angel for this problem. Now, do you want angels or do you want to be an angel? Aapko angel chahiye ya aap angel banna chahte hai? So angel means who is light, flying, does not want anything from anyone, just radiates who they are. Aap aaye, aapki kursi par ye green folder tha. This gives you the details of the center here in Silicon Valley and it gives you the details of the programs which are held at the center. Regular programs, also programs for children. Programs for children to learn the right way of thinking and to mold their sanskars when they are very soft. And to learn the art of meditation. For all of us, the meditation program is next weekend. So on your third page, you have the dates for the meditation program. It's two consecutive weekends. So one option is 9th and 10th, followed by 16th, 17th. Second option is 23rd, 24th, followed by 30th and 1st of July. An hour every day, just for four days, four hours, to learn the technique of charging myself and then radiating that to everybody. Hum logon ko khushi nahi de sakte. जब तक हम खुद खुद उससे भरे हुए नहीं होंगे हमें भरना पड़ेगा अपने आप को लोगों को देने के लिए तो हम भरने के लिए तैयार हैं 
हम भरने के लिए तैयार हैं यस सो डोंट लेट द प्रोग्राम एंड टुडे लेट द प्रोग्राम बिगिन टुडे अ प्रोग्राम फॉर अ न्यू वे ऑफ लिविंग सो चूज योर मेडिटेशन प्रोग्राम वीक फ्रॉम दो स्टेट्स देयर Don't allow the mind to say, "I'm busy. I don't have time." Don't cheat yourself. The most important thing in life right now is to have a powerful mind. Everything else will follow. Everything else will follow, because we know if we are happy, then we are healthy. If we are happy, then we have beautiful relationships. If we are happy, we perform well. but we took it the other way round and we said if i perform well then i will be happy if i will be healthy then i will be happy if i have beautiful relationships then i will be happy don't they reg if i am happy everything else will follow so choose one of those two weekend options and give this treat to yourself and to your family and also to your children come let's take a minute of silence Would you like to see all the angels who have been there working out this program for you? Can I request all the angels to come in the front? Aage aa jao. two days two days a saturday and a sunday four events back to back no event management company involved they are one of you they are living with family they have children they are working they are cooking they cook for themselves every single day every meal but while doing everything that they were doing they created this program for you everything right from designing the invite to sending you the invitation to confirming each one's participation to preparing the hall to doing this decoration to preparing 8000 tolis which you are going to get outside when you go walk out they cooked that prashad for you they don't need anything from us they don't need anything from us and actually they don't even want to come in the front but i only want you to see them just so that you can delete the belief system that we are busy we don't have time that's the only reason i've asked them to come in the front they don't need it at all and why i did it was that on the first event yesterday morning saturday 2 hours after the event a young lady comes up to me and she says very good bahut acha tha bahut acha tha and i said okay come to the meditation program and she puts her hand on my shoulder and she says sister shivani life is very challenging over here <laughs> i said what was the meaning of that she said we don't get time to do all these things and that's when i said these people need to come in the front from where are they getting the time from where are they getting the time the money the energy to organize event for people they don't even know they don't know you and they probably never meet you after this from where are they getting that time money and energy only one thing they took out half an hour for themselves every day and when they took out that half an hour for themselves every day unhone apne aap ko kya karna shuru kar diya bharna shuru kar diya jo bharna shuru kar dega na wo sabko diya 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 karna shuru kar dega they will never say i am busy i have been watching them for the last 3 days friday saturday sunday round the clock they have been working but there is not even a trace of stress or busy or getting pulled between family and work and seva and children i don't know how they are doing it but if you ask them anyone they will say it is very easy and their program doesn't end here today
Their program doesn't end here today. They are doing these programs regularly. And they are also one of the intelligent minds on the planet. <laughs> but they chose that along with being an intelligent mind, I also need to be a wise mind. So they added that dimension to their life. And that's giving them that holistic feeling, complete. Not just excelling in one part of life and vacuum in a another part of life. And what did that do to them? Gives them happiness, health, beautiful relationships, and most important, wonderful children who are following in the same steps and who are meditating at a very young age. So let's stand up once and really give them blessings and gratitude for what they have done for us. Kusum Ben. Come on, Kusum Ben, come. And now all the blessings which you will radiate to them, what will it do to them? It will get them to doing more and more and bigger programs for all of you. But next time, you will not be on that side. <laughs> next time, one of you will be singing on the stage and one of you will be part of that drama and one of you will be doing this decoration because you will be part of this beautiful family. Welcome to this beautiful family of angels. And that's when we come in the family of angels, so apne aap hi angel ban jate hain. Chalo, let's sit for two minutes in silence. Three deep breaths, relax. Visualize your next week. We are creating our personal meditation, which we will use every morning night before going to sleep, after every hour, and before every meal and glass of water. I am a divine being. divine being. My every thought and my every word is a blessing. My every thought and my every word is a blessing. I accept each one as they are. I accept each one as they are. My body is perfect and healthy. My relationships are in harmony. Success is definite for me. Everything I read, watch, listen, eat or drink is sattvic, high energy.
I am his angel, the angel everyone is looking for. I am the angel for people I work with. I am the angel for family I live with. I am the angel for my friends. And I am the angel for strangers around me. I am his angel. I promise myself from today taking care of my own mind is my first priority. Giving 30 minutes daily for self-care is my first priority. Empowering myself to radiate happiness and love to all is the purpose of my life. As we drive back home, a little meeting with ourselves on the way. What are the little, very simple lifestyle changes I need to make to shift to a higher vibration? Simple habits, easy to implement from today itself, very simple, but I take the decision before I reach home. 15 minutes while driving home is my time in silence. As we leave the room, we will get a blessing card, which is different for each one of us. an affirmation which we can use every day for our meditation to be the potential of what we have to be. And Prashant cooked by the sisters in a state of meditation full of love and blessings. We will walk out in silence Take our prashad in silence and drive home in silence. Few minutes of silence every day energize the soul. We will remain seated for five minutes and only those who are requested to move will start moving. Please open the doors at the back. First three rows will rise. First three rows. Absolute silence as we move out. We take our power back with us home. As we take this power back with us, we will radiate it to our family. This is our prashad. Next three lines. Next three lines.
Please take your blessing card, your prashad. Please take the green folder which has the center details. Please block your dates for the meditation program. Those on the extreme left column can take the door on the side. Extreme left, that side, the door on the side. 